Savvy. Ever wondered why people travel to places associated with death and tragedy? Welcome to the intriguing world of dark tourism, a realm that transcends the conventional boundaries of travel. It's not about sun-kissed beaches or picturesque landscapes, but about destinations that bear the marks of human suffering and historical catastrophe. So why are some travelers drawn to these kinds of sites? The answer lies in our inherent curiosity. We are beings who crave understanding, who yearn for knowledge, and who seek to make sense of the world around us. Dark tourism offers a unique lens through which we can examine our past and confront the depths of our humanity. Some may find it morbid, others might call it a fascination for the macabre, but it's far more nuanced than that. This form of tourism is about connecting with history, not through textbooks or documentaries, but through direct, tangible experiences. It's about standing in the very spots where significant, often tragic events have unfolded, feeling the weight of the past and gaining a deeper appreciation for the present. In essence, dark tourism is a journey into the heart of our shared human experience. It's about understanding the complexities of our world, recognizing the resilience of humanity and contemplating the impermanence of life. For the savvy traveler, these journeys offer an opportunity to engage with history on a profoundly personal level. They offer an insight into the diverse cultures and societies that have been shaped by these historical events. It's a chance to reflect, to learn, and to remember. As we delve deeper into the shadows of history, we find that dark tourism is not about glorifying tragedy or wallowing in despair. Instead, it's about acknowledging the past, understanding its impacts, and respecting the memory of those who have suffered. Dark tourism opens a window to our past, offering a sobering understanding of history's most tragic moments. So as we journey through these historical sites, we are not just sightseeing, we are bearing witness to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. But when did this fascination with tragedy begin, you may ask? Well, let's trace the roots of dark tourism back to ancient times. Picture yourself in the bustling heart of Rome, where the Colosseum stands as a symbol of both grandeur and gore. This was the stage for gladiatorial games, where brave warriors fought till their last breath, often in front of thousands of spectators. This, in a sense, was one of the earliest forms of dark tourism. Moving forward through the sands of time, we find the medieval period, a time of public executions and witch trials. Capital punishment was not hidden behind closed doors, but was instead a public spectacle, drawing large crowds. Cities across Europe would echo with the clamor of the curious and the cries of the condemned, underscoring the macabre fascination that humans have always had with death and suffering. Fast forward to the 19th century, the era of the Grand Tour. Savvy travelers, mostly from the upper echelons of society, embarked on lengthy trips across Europe to soak in culture, art, and history. Yet, among the palaces and the art galleries, there was a darker side. These tours often included visits to battlefields, catacombs, and sites of historical tragedies. In the 20th century, this fascination didn't wane but took on new forms. From the ruins of Pompeii, preserved under layers of volcanic ash, to the somber echoes within the walls of the Auschwitz-Birkenau concentration camp, the allure of places touched by tragedy continued to captivate the minds of travelers. And here we are in the 21st century, still drawn to these shadows of history. Technology has made the world smaller, and dark tourism has become more accessible than ever. It's a testament to our enduring curiosity about the darker side of our past and our desire to understand, remember, and learn from it. As we can see, dark tourism has deep roots, reflecting our long-standing curiosity about mortality and the macabre. But as savvy explorers, we don't just witness these sites, we absorb their stories, their lessons, and their solemn reminders of humanity's past. So, what's the impact of dark tourism on our understanding of history? A question that is as intriguing as it is profound. To answer that, let's delve into the heart of the matter. Dark tourism sites serve as more than just destinations. They are historical markers, etching the narrative of our collective past into the landscape. These sites tell stories, stories of times that have shaped our world, stories of humanity's resilience, of its triumphs, and of its despair. They bring to life the pages of history books, adding a layer of reality that words on paper often fail to capture. Stepping into these sites, one can almost hear the echoes of the past, resonating with the tales of those who once stood where we now tread. These places also create a tangible connection to significant events and periods. 
They allow us to step back in time and experience history in a way that's real and palpable. When we walk the deserted streets of Chernobyl, the silence speaks volumes about the nuclear disaster that unfolded there. When we stand in the solemn confines of Auschwitz-Birkenau, we are reminded of the atrocities of the Holocaust. And when we visit the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park, we witness a testament to the resilience of a city, and indeed a nation, rising from the ashes of nuclear devastation. The impact of dark tourism extends beyond mere historical knowledge. It fosters empathy, sparks conversations, and challenges our perspectives. These sites invite us, the savvy explorers, to engage with our history in a way that is intimate and personal. They urge us to reflect on the lessons of the past and consider how they apply to our present and future. These sites stand as stark reminders of our past, urging us to remember, reflect, and learn. They compel us to acknowledge the darker chapters of our history, not to dwell in them, but to ensure we don't repeat them. It's a somber journey, but one that's essential for every savvy explorer. After all, understanding our past is key to shaping our future. Have you ever thought about the moral consequences of dark tourism? This is the inquiry that typically sparks a tempest of discussions. On the one side, these locales embody some of the most dismal periods in human evolution. Conversely, they offer priceless teachings about our ancestry and act as glaring warnings of the repercussions of human deeds. This is the tightrope walk where ethics become significant. As we traverse through history's stealthy trails, it's pivotal we don't forget these are not mere sightseeing spots. They are places where actual individuals breathed, endured hardships, and in numerous instances, sadly perished. They sanctified territories that require our reverence and compassion. So how can we guarantee we're observing responsible tourism? The answer is straightforward, initiates with knowledge. Prior to exploring these locations, invest the time to comprehend their historical backdrop and importance. Grasp the narratives that transpired within their boundaries and the human toll that's imprinted in their very essence. Next, we need to show respect. During our visits, let's treat these places with the honor they merit. This implies no inappropriate photographs or ill-mannered conduct. Instead, let's commemorate the memory of those who suffered by observing a moment of silence or just acknowledging the weight of the location. Further, let's think about the indigenous societies. Many of these locations are in regions still recuperating from past ordeals. Our excursions should aid their recovery, not obstruct it. This could involve patronizing local enterprises or participating in dialogues with the locals to a deeper understanding of their viewpoints. Finally, let's remain aware of stories we disseminate about these places. Are we boosting the voices of the sufferers or are we unintentionally downplaying their ordeals? It's a fine line to walk, but as astute adventurers, it's our duty to tread carefully. Ultimately, it all comes down intent. If we approach dark tourism with an earnest wish to learn, feel, and remember, we can gracefully maneuver its moral aspects. As discerning wanderers, it's vital to navigate with respect and dignity while journeying through these historical shadows. So, what does the future hold for dark tourism? As we gaze into the crystal ball of the future, it's clear that dark tourism, like all forms of travel, is likely to evolve and adapt. The savvy traveler of tomorrow will seek more immersive experiences, delving deeper into the narratives that these sites have to tell. Imagine walking through the deserted streets of Chernobyl, not just observing the remnants of a tragic past, but also experiencing the events leading up to the disaster through augmented reality. Or standing in the heart of the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park, listening to the accounts of survivors in their own voices, right at the spot where they once stood. This is not just a tour, but a journey through time, a poignant reminder of our shared history. Technology could play a pivotal role in enhancing the dark tourism experience. Virtual and augmented reality, for instance, could provide a more immersive understanding of these sites, allowing visitors to not just see, but also feel and comprehend the gravity of the events that transpired there. Artificial intelligence could also come into play, with virtual guides offering personalized tours based on individual interests and levels of historical knowledge. This would not only make the experience more engaging, but also more educational. But even as we embrace these technological advancements, it's crucial that we don't lose sight of the essence of dark tourism. It's not about thrill-seeking or morbid fascination, but about remembering, understanding, and learning from the past. As we journey into the future, dark tourism continues to offer us a poignant lens into our shared history. 
it invites us to reflect upon the resilience of the human spirit and to learn from our mistakes, ensuring that history does not repeat itself. So, whether you're a seasoned traveler or a curious explorer, remember to tread lightly and with respect as you delve into these shadows of history. After all, we're all just passing through, leaving only footprints behind. As we journey into the future, dark tourism continues to offer us a poignant lens into our shared history. As we draw to a close, the savvy world of dark tourism opens up a world of profound insights. It challenges us to confront the darker shades of our collective past, to empathize, to learn, and to grow. But it also raises questions about our responsibility as savvy tourists, the ethics of exploiting tragedy for tourism, and the fine line between education and entertainment. So what's your take on dark tourism? Would you consider visiting these sites? Or do you find the idea unsettling? Perhaps you've already been to one of these places and would like to share your experiences. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the shadows of history. If you found this exploration enlightening, please like this video, leave a comment, share it with others, and don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing content. Your support not only helps us delve deeper and bring you more captivating insights from all corners of our fascinating world, but also fosters a of like-minded individuals who are passionate about history and learning. So, until our next exploration, remember, as we journey through these historical shadows, we're not just observers, but learners, carrying the lessons of the past into the future. And by participating in this community, you're helping to build a collective pool of knowledge and understanding. Thank you for watching and stay curious. But what about the community building aspect of dark tourism? In our exploration of this niche tourism, it's easy to get caught up in the ethical debates, the macabre fascination, and the historical lessons. But there's another facet to dark tourism that often gets overlooked, its potential for community building. Dark tourism sites often serve as a melting pot of diverse backgrounds, cultures, and perspectives. People from all walks of life are drawn to these sites, not just out of morbid curiosity, but also for the opportunity to connect with others over shared experiences. Whether it's a solemn visit to a former concentration camp, a tour of an infamous prison, or a trek through a battlefield, these sites are more than just historical landmarks. They are places of reflection, dialogue, and connection. Shared experiences at these sites can lead to meaningful conversations and connections. These interactions can cut across cultural and linguistic barriers and allow for a deeper understanding of our shared humanity. Through these conversations, we not only learn about the tragedies that unfolded at these locations, but we also learn about each other. Community building in dark tourism can contribute to a more empathetic and understanding society. By engaging in dialogue, sharing experiences, and reflecting on our shared past, we can foster a sense of unity, empathy, and understanding. These are the very qualities that can help us prevent the repetition of such dark chapters in our history. So, savvy travelers, let's not forget the power of community building in our dark tourism adventures. As we explore these haunting sites, let's remember to engage in meaningful conversations, to learn from each other, and to build a community that values understanding and empathy. Because at the end of the day, Dark tourism isn't just about visiting places of historical significance. It's about connecting with our fellow travelers and learning from our shared past. As we wrap up our exploration of dark tourism, it's clear that this niche form of travel is much more than a macabre fascination with the darker side of human history. It's a journey that takes us deep into the heart of our shared past, a journey that sparks reflection, dialogue, and connections. From the intrigue of dark tourism to its beginnings, impact, ethical dimensions, and future, we've delved deep into this fascinating phenomenon. We've seen how it can be a powerful tool for community building, fostering understanding, empathy, and unity among diverse groups of travelers. But remember, as we venture into these haunting sites, let's do so with respect and empathy. Let's engage in meaningful conversations, learn from each other, and build a community that values understanding and empathy. Because at the end of the day, dark tourism isn't just about visiting places of historical significance. It's about connecting with our fellow travelers and learning from our shared past. Thank you for joining us on this journey into dark tourism. We hope that this exploration has not only enlightened you about this unique form of travel, but also inspired you to approach your future travels with a deeper sense of empathy and understanding. And that's a wrap, savvy travelers. Thank you for watching the video until the end. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share.
Your support helps us continue to bring you more fascinating insights into the world of travel. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.